Hi everyone, Dr. Melissa here, and today we are doing Beginner's Guide to Kegel Exercises. And these Kegels are probably gonna be done a little differently than you're used to, but I promise you, once you get them down, you're gonna notice amazing results. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps share this video with people that have similar questions. And if you stick around till the end, I have something special just for you. All right, go grab your mats, and let's do this. All right, before we get into the best exercises for urinary incontinence, if you happen to have a pillow and a yoga block, go ahead and grab that. If you don't, no worries, I've got you covered. And the most important thing throughout today is going to be our breathing. Have to get this down in order to really truly feel it in that pelvic floor muscle. That gentle breath, breathing out to the sides. This 360 degree rib cage, exhale, like you're blowing out through straw or blowing out candles, and you wanna feel this gentle lifting up. No pushing down, no bearing down, no pushing out. And if you still have a little bit of questions about the breathing, you can go ahead and check out this video I have right here. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start on our side, because that is the easiest position to make sure you're feeling it. So if you have a pillow, go ahead and grab that. If you happen to have the block, just gonna prop yourself up. And then if you have a blocker pillow, you could put that in between the knees, but again, you don't need it. Find that position that's comfortable, bring your knees in, maybe bring them back a little bit, but we wanna make sure we're not tucking our tailbone underneath and that we don't have this huge arch in our low back. We want a neutral pelvis. And then from here, that 360 degree breath, going out through the sides and then exhale, you'll feel this gentle lifting up. As you're inhaling, you'll feel some pressure down on your pelvic floor muscles. And then as you're exhaling, it's lifting up. So you can even get some hand movement. As you inhale, open that diaphragm, goes down to the pelvic floor, exhale, lifting up. And you wanna feel the pelvic floor muscles both in the front and in the back. Check to see if you're noticing maybe it's more in the front muscles versus in the back muscles and see if you can make little adjustments with the breath, maybe a little more emphasis in or playing around with just little tilts of that pelvis staying within the neutral range for you to see what makes a difference. Nice gentle breath in. Exhale. So I start a lot of my clients out in this position practicing to make sure they get the breath down and that they can feel the core and those pelvic floor muscles. We've got the blocker pillow here. Next time you exhale, see if you squeeze those knees together if you feel more of a contraction. And then inhale, soften. Exhale, squeeze, gentle lift, and then let it go. And why the breath is so important. I want you guys to keep going on with your breathing. Inhale, relax, pelvic floor goes down. Exhale, you'll lift and feel that gentle pulling coming up. So why it's so important that we're using the breath. We're constantly inhaling and softening, exhale, contracting, and we're using everything together in the system versus if you've heard, and go do some Kegels, you're just Kegeling away, doing your Kegels, but not using your breath, not using the full core system to get it going. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale. Let's just do two more here. And just two minutes a day of practicing this is great. So laying down on your side, easiest way to feel it. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, maybe squeeze, and then lift that gentle lifting up. Once you get that down, let's roll onto our backs. So you can put the block or the pillow in between your knees again, or you can leave it out. We've got a pillow or something behind us because we want to make sure that rib cage is dropping down. And you might need to play with the height of your pillows so that you're feeling it in those right muscles. We'll take our gentle breath in, and then exhale, that gentle lifting come up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, opening, exhale. Maybe you try to couple without the blocker pillow and then you wanna stick something in between those knees, same thing, or neutral pelvis. Rib cage stays over our pelvis, inhale, exhale, 
squeeze the block. Maybe you feel it more, maybe you don't. You just wanna be careful when you're squeezing to not jam your back down and tuck those hips underneath. It's not gonna allow us to use our core system efficiently. We wanna keep that pelvis neutral. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, squeeze. Gentle breath in. Exhale, you'll feel it squeeze, lift up. Good. Couple more in this position. So two minutes with any of these exercises, just to make sure you're getting that foundation down, practicing it. And the more you practice it, interweave it throughout your day, you're gonna be able to feel those muscles a little bit more. We just don't want any pushing or bearing down. Awesome, let's do one more. Exhale. Great. Okay, now we're gonna take that out. Say you've got the laying on your side, laying on the back is doing great. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees, coming up into a tabletop position. Pressing into those palms. We've got a neutral pelvis, not tucking, not a big arch. As you exhale, we're gonna take that right leg, slide your right leg back. You're pressing through the back heel. That same feeling when you exhale, we want that gentle lifting up. Inhale, soften. Exhale, press through the heel. Inhale, soften. You'll feel the glutes start to get on, a little bit more of your core. Exhale, good. That left foot, the top of the left foot, you can press down into the mat, stabilize the left side. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now, if this feels really good and you wanna add on a little bit, you can always float that leg up. Reach through the right heel, keep pressing into your palms as you exhale, and then inhale, soften. Exhale. And then maybe inhale, we tap it down. Exhale, inhale, soften. Good, nice job. So we wanna to continue to build up our core and our pelvic floor strength in the different activities that we like to do. We just need to build it up, training it with different strategies. So starting with the basics and then building yourself up. Good. Let's check it out and see what it feels like on the other side. So press into the top of your right foot. Take that left foot, send your left leg straight back. We've got our neutral pelvis. Exhale, press through that back heel. Inhale, soften. Exhale, press. Inhale, soften. How does this side feel compared to your other side? Good. Now, if you want to stay like this, you can keep the leg down. Maybe on your next exhale, you float that leg up, reach through your back heel, press into the top of that foot. So I'm showing you lots of different options for today. Pick what feels best for your body. Maybe you start in side lying and you stay there for a week until you get it and work your way onto your back. Good, inhale, tap down, exhale, lift. Then coming into tabletop position, then we work our way into sitting and standing positions, which make it much harder, and then we add it into our activities. Nice job, lengthen out. Use that breath. We've got two more. Last one. Bring those legs back in, and just come to find comfortable seated position. Remembering to use your breath, the power of your breath is so important that you're feeling your whole entire core system working. It's constantly relaxing and contracting. Let's take one more nice big breath in, lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Awesome job with those exercises. Stick with it and really using that whole core system. If you still have some questions or you're wanting to learn more about building a strong core and pelvic floor and other ways that we can work together, I'm gonna leave some links for you down below in the comments. And as promised, since you stuck around until the end, here is a special code that you can use down below in those links for 20% off. Keep up the good work. Until next time. 
Namaste.